excited to hear the review for this book because it's just been published end of um, was it end of May or beginning of May so it's really really um, new and this is the 3000 color mixing recipes uh, book by Julie Collins now if you remember she had this other book which I have a review for and um, I'll try to link it up here and I was really excited when I got this book it's really thin and kind of really easy and um, something that we probably all know but it's good to have nonetheless just to remind yourself of um, so this book was called color mixing guide watercolor and basically someone left a comment that did you know that there is a new book coming out in May and I think I bought this maybe a month or two months before that and I had no idea so I of course couldn't wait to get this book so this book was published like I said 2015 five years ago and now this is like the sort of updated version um, let's have a look at the thicknesses of the books I'm not going to compare them but I just want you to see a difference there so you can see it's like um, one third of this book roughly and also um, I went for the spiral bound there is one that is just paper bag so it doesn't have the spiral but um, having purchased the spiral bound book recently the, botan the modern botanical um, art I realized how really um, comfortable it is to have a book that flips open and just stays flat especially when it comes to um, swatches okay I don't want to cheese you anymore but um, I do want to just show you a little comparison it might be quite useful just to look at the contents of both books and then if you want you can go ahead and look at the separate review for this book so size wise they're the same as you can see and then contents we have introduction introduction how to use this book materials about color and color mixing colors used in this book warm and cool colors color black and grays color tone relating to color using a limited palette dull and bright colors color in a painting um, and then we have local color materials color mixing color mixing recipes and then we have glossary and here we have diluting colors which is an additional chapter which I think is quite quite useful so let's have a look at the book the um i found it sort of more fun to look at because look at that it has now a, a quite a few pictures of a watercolor palette with palettes which this book did not have it has a, a lot more simpler layout compared to this book okay so um it explains to you how to use this book and then, like I said, you will see quite a few nice pictures of um, swatches and watercolor palettes. And then, materials. Even a couple sort of um, simple illustrations, color mixing recipes. I love the visuals. It really feels like a more updated and more contemporary version of the previous book. It's, it also has a lot more. So color mixing recipes, you can see on each color we have, so for instance, yellow. We have, let's see, how many pages do we have here? So this color is slightly changing now from yellow into this. Um, this sort of, there's a color change here. As you can see, they're all yellows, but they're slowly moving into oranges, like that. So you can see that. But, you know, for the first colour, I just want to compare. We have one, two, three pages of that first yellow. And just as a very quick and last comparison, 
Let's see if we have, if we start here with the yellows at all. Yeah, so color mixing, you just have yellow one page and then the slightly more orangey yellow um, one more page and then it goes into the oranges. So again, more content here for sure. And a lot more yellows. So you can see I'm still going and this is now starting to get into the oranges. So loads and loads. You now understand why it's called 3000 color mixing recipes. So yes, you can literally find pretty much any color of your desire. So that's quite good. And then it carries on like that into what I found really interesting is the grays in the end. Let me just find it. So here we go. So the last color is the blacks and grays. These are particularly beautiful. So you have a few here with the addition of other, like, you know, what grays you could get with reds, burnt sienna, and then throw in blue, uh, Prussian blue, French ultramarine, Indian red. So you have also sepia, burnt umber, and raw umber. So you have one page, um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So quite a lot here. And in the previous book, I think it started raining again. Um, in the previous book, we have black and grays, just this and this page. And you can see that the layout here is kind of a lot more sort of prettier and more organized. Okay, so the chapter at the back, which is what I wanted to share with you, is called Diluting Colors. It's an additional chapter that wasn't uh, before um, included. And diluting colors with water. So this is quite useful to look at the colors, but also seeing what strength of the color you can get. So from the very um, strong swatches to then diluting it into these pastels and pales, that could be especially quite useful for someone who is into pale colors and working with a very light um, toned palette. So again it goes through the color wheel of all the colors. And then at the back you even have color viewing cards so you can it's perforated so you can clip it out and you can use this um, to identify colors for instance um, let me see what colors I have here. I could use an example of. Let's say this. So I can isolate everything else and just look at the color like so. And having a black background also helps to just concentrate on that color. Okay, so that is it. I would highly recommend this book. Really happy with it. And just a great updated version of the previous. And like I said, you can get just a um, paper, um, paper bag. But I particularly like the um, wire bound. And this is what it looks like at the back. And I have no issues like turning the pages or anything. It's um, the wire doesn't take too much space up because some people don't like wires on the side. And I think this is why they created this paper um, paper side, which protects the wires. And it kind of also creates a nice little flip um, cover. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this review. I leave. Uh, I will leave all the links below as always. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.